Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's just me again, and I just want to go over one more quick example of how we apply the empirical rule to normal distribution. Remember, when you see, oops, when you see, it wasn't there, was it? When you see the word normal, right, then what you have to think is that every time we have normal distribution, we can apply, apply the empirical rule. So, um, let's say I take a sample, and um, in the sample that the mean, which is X bar, the mean number of pounds of dog food that a dog eats in a week is 10 pounds. And from that same sample, I determine that the standard deviation, which is represented by S, is 2 pounds. Well, I'm thinking of getting Wanda a friend. So I want to know 95% mm, of the dogs in the world, or at least based on this sample, are going to eat, eat how much dog food. So I can say, because I have normal distribution, I can use this to say 95% of the dogs will eat between, right, between how many and how many pounds of food? Because I've got to figure out if I can afford this dog. So, normal distribution, empirical rule, 95% falls plus two standard deviations and minus two standard deviations from the mean. We know because of the way normal distribution works, the mean of the distribution is right here. So what I also know is that X bar is right here and it's equal to 10. I also know that every standard deviation that I move is the exact same distance up and down the curve because that's why we call it the standard deviation. So applying this normal distribution empirical rule, what I'm going to say is I'm going to say for my upper limit, I'm going to say x bar plus 2 times the standard deviation is going to give me this value here. And I know on this side that x bar minus 2 times the standard deviation is going to give me this value here. And since I already have my values that were calculated from my sample, now all I have to do is substitute. And I'm going to say 10 plus two standard deviations times the value of a standard deviation, which is two pounds in this case, is going to give me 14. Over here, I'm going to say 10 minus two standard deviations, where each standard deviation is worth two pounds, is going to give me six. So now what I know is that this value here is 14. This value is 6, and because the normal, because I had normal distribution in the empirical rule, I can say that 95% of the dogs will eat between 6 and 14 pounds of food. And now I can make my decision as to whether or not I need another dog or not. So I hope that this helps. If you all need anything else, you know where to find me. Just let me know, and we'll have another video session. Have a good night.